Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got a review for you on the new L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and the La Palette Nude 2. So I got these a little while back and I've been kind of playing around with them and really just testing them out. So I've definitely formed some opinions on each of these palettes. So we're gonna do like we normally do in my review videos. We're gonna talk about pricing, packaging, we'll look at swatches. I do wanna compare one of these palettes to one that's already in my collection, so I'm gonna show you that. And then just kind of give you my overall thoughts and opinions on these palettes, so let's jump into it. Okay, starting with pricing and packaging. So the price of these palettes really kind of varies depending on where you buy them, but I got mine from Walmart and they were $15.84 each, which is pretty high priced for a drugstore eyeshadow palette. But something to consider with these palettes is that they are significantly larger than most anything you would find in the drugstore. Like there's those larger Maybelline palettes, but this is still quite a bit bigger than those palettes. So this is a big old palette. Um, so that's really something to think about, is that there's a lot of product in this palette. Let me show you really quick. Okay, compared to the Naked 2 palette, I mean, this is pretty close. So size-wise, it's pretty close to the Naked palettes. But you're actually getting more product in these palettes than you are with the Naked palettes. These are a total net weight of 17.5 grams, and the Naked palettes are 15.6 grams. So you're actually getting more product in these palettes than the Naked palettes. As far as the packaging goes, it's nothing exciting. It looks like it's from the drugstore, but that really doesn't bother me. I mean, I think it looks like a nice, sleek drugstore palette. So I think the packaging is just fine. I think it's pretty. It's a little bit bulky. I think they could have taken off the sides a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. I think that the um, European version is a little bit more sleek, so that would be nicer. Um, but I do think that the packaging is just fine. They do give me some um, look suggestions on the back, which is really nice. If you're not sure what to do with these palettes, um, they do give you some look suggestions back there. So that's really great. And these do come with a little double-ended applicator. You get a little brush on one side. It's pretty soft. I think that would get the job done as far as just kind of blending. And then a little sponge tip applicator on the other side. So it's always nice if you have something in there that if you're in a pinch and you need something to use, you do have an option there. Okay, so looking at the collection of colors that you get in each palette. So on the top is the Nude 1 palette, and on the bottom is the Nude 2. There's that pinky again that I like to point with. There's the Nude 2 down there. <laughs> so you can see, the Nude 1 is a very neutral palette. It's got a lot of kind of golds and light champagne shades in it, whereas the Nude 2 is more kind of on the purpley, um, pinky burgundy side. So they're definitely different palettes. I think they did a good job of giving you two very different options here. This one's very warm toned. This one's very cool toned. Um, the Nude 2 has more mattes and satins. We'll look at more of that when we look at swatches. But there are more satins and mattes in this palette than there are in the Nude 1. This one has more kind of shimmery metallic shades in this one. Okay, so here are some swatches. So this is the Nude 1 and this is the Nude 2. So I think that these shadows are really, really pretty. I think they swatch so nicely. Um, now I would add like a dark chocolatey brown or even a black into the Nude 1. Just something for deepening up your outer corner and using as a liner. I think it's missing that. But other than that, I think that these palettes have some really nice shadows in them. There are some really nice satins and mattes, which can be really hard to find in the drugstore sometimes, so I love that about them. Um, now, some of the shimmery light shades, they do take some building, but I notice that they build up really nicely, at least that's been my experience, and especially if you use them wet, that really kicks up the vibrancy. So I am wearing the Nude 1 on my eyes today, and I use some of the lighter shades um, with MAC's Fix Plus, and I feel like it just kicked up the vibrancy and just gave a really nice eye look. So I'm impressed with these. I think they're really pretty. Now they do kick up some product in the pan especially is where I notice it. So they're a little bit powdery, but I don't notice a lot of fallout on my face, which is really great. I just notice that the pan, like the palette gets a little dirty and they kind of kick up some product in the pan. So I would just suggest tapping off your brush to avoid fallout on the face but I really haven't noticed that being a problem. It just kind of gets a little dirty looking in the pan. So I wanted to show you a quick comparison. So when I first got the La Palette Nude 2, it kind of reminded me of my Tarte Tartlet Palette, which I love this palette. So I want to show you some comparisons between the two. So this is the La Palette Nude 2 on this side, and this is the Tartlet Palette. 
So you can see, they are definitely not a dupe. There are a lot of differences here. Like this is an all matte palette. I mean, that's a huge difference. But this one also has some browns in it and it's just not the same palette. But I do notice that some of the shades that I tend to gravitate towards in this palette are pretty similar to some shades in this palette. Those kind of pinks and mauves and burgundies and purples. It's kind of in that same family. So I would say if you've thought about getting the Tartlet palette but you just haven't wanted to spend that $44 price tag on that, then the La Palette Nude 2 might be an option for you. I mean, especially if you're going for those kind of burgundy, mauve, purpley sort of looks, I think you could get a similar look, especially on your eyes. That's where I noticed that they look very similar. But like I said, they are not dupes. That's not what I'm saying. But this might be an option for you if you've thought about this one. So as far as the formula goes on these shadows, I think it's really nice. Like especially the satins and the mattes just blend so nicely in the crease and in the outer corner. So I think that these palettes are really nice as standalone palettes, but I think that they are especially great as companion palettes because they just blend so seamlessly with other things. So I've been loving pairing these with other things in my collection. Now, like I already mentioned, the shimmery shades do take a little bit of building, but I noticed that they build up just fine. And especially if you use them wet, that really kicks up the vibrancy. Um, these stick around throughout the day. I don't notice my eye looks fading and looking gross. I just am really impressed with the formula on these shadows. So my overall opinion on these palettes is that I really love them. I think that they are such nice quality. I think they blend really nicely. They're pigmented. I love the collection of colors in there. I think they're really great. Now I would change the price point. I wish that they were a little bit lower, but like I mentioned earlier, I don't think it's an unfair price point because it's such a big palette. It's just a little bit higher than what I'm used to. So I would change that about it in an ideal world. I wish they were a little bit cheaper, but it's not an unfair price, I don't think. Um, you know, I've noticed some kind of hit and miss reviews on these palettes. And you know, it's kind of funny when you are a YouTuber and then you also watch YouTube and read blogs, which I definitely do, and say your opinion is different than a lot of people or even the majority, it kind of makes you go, huh, like, am I, did I get something wrong or am I not understanding something? And I'm really not sure why my opinion is different than quite a few people on these palettes, but I'm always gonna give you my 100% honest opinion and my experience with the product. And my experience with these palettes has been I really love them. I think they're really great and I would definitely recommend them. All right guys, so that's my overall review on the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and Nude 2 palettes. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions for me about these palettes, just ask those down below. You guys know I'm always happy to answer those. I would love to know your opinion on these palettes, like what you think about them, what your experience has been with them, how you enjoy using them, or maybe if you don't even like them. Just let me know down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.